working today, but I have a later shift. Please excuse, I've got teeth whitening strips in um, because that is part of my glow up morning routine. Which... So first of all, I'm going to take my hair out of this plait. Um, also currently got some washing going, sorry if you can hear that. We're going to put our little trusty headband on. It never does us wrong. I just like it. Um, I'm also going to clip up my hair. Max speed. So, first thing I always do in the morning is my gratitude and an affirmation. I know everyone says it and it's a bit like woo woo, but honestly, it changes the way you think, the way you perceive situations, and it really, really does make a difference if you stick with it. And this lisp with the teeth whitening strips, I cannot. But anyway, then after I do my little journal and gratitude, then I will do 20 minutes of reading a self-development book. Oh my god, this. I'm so sorry. So, I read in the morning and at night. At night, I read like a fiction book or something. So, right now, I'm reading Me Before You. But the self-development book I'm reading at the moment is called Why Has No One Ever Told Me This Before by Dr. Julie Smith. She's a psychologist and about common sort of coping mechanisms and problems that people have um, and dealing with ups and downs that you might experience throughout the day like whether you have anxiety or not um i do like it but like i don't think it's a life-changing book at this point in time but i do think it has some useful insights in there and i definitely do notice some of the things that she talks about i do like in my brain so it is good to sort of understand why they why I think the way I think and certain ways I can try and cope with it and minimize it if I am having a day that's not a one so anyway I just pop up let's try and soak in some sunshine and do like 20 minutes of reading then my teeth whitening strips are ready to come out my washing should be ready to hang out and then the next thing is seeking discomfort which has been Brother, uh. Which, it's a love-hate relationship, but, you know, it, at the end of the day, it is a love. It's just hard. It's a hard love. couple of things that I've done that make the process like 5% easier so first of all I grab my speaker I put on like a pump up tune that I can sing along to to distract myself and I pop it right in the windowsill here and then the second thing is like I know it's dumb but having a nice smelling body wash so I have this one at the moment which smells delicious and it just sort of gives me that motivation that like if I do it I'm gonna like smell really good after um anyway and like literally it takes like one to two minutes out of my day and I do feel so much more fresh alive energized afterwards it's just that initial like oh icky yuck I don't want to do it but anyway um yeah I'm just going to grab my tripod.
I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm so passionate about it and it's what I do Your passion all the time. Fearless, heroic, authentic, iconic, the greatest of all time. Okay, and then the hot thing is out of the way, but it doesn't mean that it's like easy. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna jump out and get changed for work. And then do my little skincare routine. Can you like nothing? Okay, so after I wash my face, like my face routine in the morning is pretty simple. My skincare routine actually overall is so much more simple than it used to be, but I just go in with the CeraVe vitamin C. That's first. And then next, I just go in with a mixture of this facial moisturizer. Like I'm not picky. This is just the one I have when I came over here is this. And then I'll mix in a couple of the Emco bronzing drops, which are a dupe for the drunk elephant ones, just to give me a little bit of a glow because I don't really, I do put on a dab of makeup, but nothing like crazy at all. Um, so I just mix them together in my hands. Then the last skincare step for the face is popping on some sunscreen. That is always non-negotiable. So this is the ultraviolet one. Um, this is the Fave Fluid. I like all of them. The glow screen. I have the. I have another bottle that I bought over with me. That's how much I love it. This is the Supreme screen. Um, usually hot tip. Usually they have a day. It's National Sunscreen Day where you can buy like two for one so usually i'll buy two bottles every year and that will stop me up for a whole year and then as far as makeup goes i literally if i've freshly tinted my eyebrows i won't fill them in i will just run a brow gel through them but yeah so i literally just do eyebrows maybe some spot concealing if i'm feeling it and then a little bit of mascara I pop some Benetint on my lips once I've brushed my teeth and sometimes on my cheeks. Just really depends on the day. And that sort of is, it just gives me that little bit of a zhuzh, makes me feel that a little bit more confident about myself. And yeah, because I never ever used to wear makeup, like even when I were, were, oh my God, I never used to wear makeup even when I was in my last corporate job. But I've just realized that you're not being like, high maintenance like I used to think that by wearing makeup it was like being like over the top or high maintenance but I've realized that it's not and it honestly like I'm trying to step into my feminine energy a bit more like just be a bit more confident and if filling in my eyebrows and putting on a little bit of mascara and cheek tint does that for me then happy days really And I sort of just like run it lightly over my lashes. Like I almost just want it to look like I've had a little bit of a lash lift. And coating the ends of the lashes. See? It just adds like a little bit of a a va va boom, if you will. Makeup step is some Benetint. Um, I actually got this off TikTok, but just on the little lilies like it almost does nothing but whatever and then I just put some Laneige sleeping mask on top that sort of gives me that little like flush look that I'm after okay um and then for hair I try and again keep it like super minimal I do this but honestly like 90% of the time I just do a slick back bun or like a clip or um like a plait or something because unless I heat style my hair then I'm not really like loving it so today 
actually, let's talk about scents of the day. So for my scents, I literally got this last night in the mail and I'm freaking out because I've missed it so much. It's a new Brazilian Crush 62. So I'm obviously going to wear that today. And to accentuate that, I have a little perfume oil. These last all day. I got mine off Etsy and this is Arabian Vanilla and I just put like a little bit here, here, here. And honestly, that will have you smelling like warm vanilla sugar all day. But then my other favorite scent is for the daytime if i have a little bit left is replica beach walk i have this one which i've had forever and i usually pair that and the vanilla oil together or my other scent which is a day to night scent that i did bring with me is i have my who is elijah nomad perfume which i love um and then i also have my Giorgio armani c but i use that more just on a nighttime basis but Anyway, I actually have to get a wriggle on because I still have to hang my washing out. So today is going to be a bum day, I've decided. So until I get my gel, how I do my bun is I literally just do a ponytail missionary at all. Is I do a ponytail with one hair tie and then the second hair tie just wraps around and wraps around like that there actually um yeah i take this schwarzkopf gotta be um little like slicker doodad thing and i just slick down but once i have gel then i can properly like slick down parts i have also heard that the whey pomade is really great but i'm trying to be a girly on a budget but i mean I do love my slick back button, so who knows. Anyways, and that's that. So I'm going to quickly hang out my washing, actually. Put everything back. Yep. Okay, I'm going to quickly hang out my washing, and then we're going to walk to the hotel for some breakfast before I start work. Um, I also just want to add, I'm just editing this, and I forgot to mention it this morning in the video, but... I basically do not touch my phone in the morning aside from checking my Facebook Messenger purely to see if my family has messaged me or putting music on or checking my uniform dress code for that day. Like I do not touch any social media at all, at least until I am at work and I've been awake for like an hour, hour and a half. So yeah, that really helps my mindset in the morning to not get clouded and feel negative and it just really keeps me sort of grounded and in line with my own thoughts, not what I think I should be doing or what other people are doing, blah, blah, blah. So would really recommend this tip. Would really recommend this tip. Particular morning is a bit disjointed because I had to, I start work later than usual and I had to go with HR to the social security. Anyway, long story short, um, it's about 11 a.m. now and I'm just at work early. I don't start work until 12, but I've just made a little coffee and I would just like to say that I did order this in Chinese all by myself. Um, I asked for a cappuccino in a takeaway cup and they gave it to me, which is stunning. Um, but then the next thing that I do every morning is I write a to-do list. So I just use a notes app on my phone um, like on my laptop or whatever and so this was yesterday's so I'll just edit the date oh that reminds me I need to email my auntie for her birthday and then I just add in what I want for my to-do list and then at the end I always write what my weekly goals are so I can sort of make these daily goals in line with my big goals and then I also did just make a habit tracker here that I can fill in to track my habits every week um, yeah, and then I just obviously start work. So that is my current morning routine that I'm really loving. It's really helping me like achieve the summer glow up and the favorite version of myself that I want at the moment. It's making me feel good. So give it a go. Let me know if you implement any of the things that I've shown you this morning. Try anything. I would love to know. 
and I will talk to you in my next video. Like and subscribe for the rest of this glow up series. Bye.